What's up, everybody? I think it's time to get down and dirty again. So, what's going on in the world today? Hmm. You wonder. So, in case we haven't been paying attention, this is what's going on in the world today. Trump has made himself an asshole. Hillary has made herself a dumb bitch. And Jill Stein is still triumphing over both. Um, somehow, some way, she's still not winning the election, though. Don't get it. Okay, so people, third party members, um, Democrats, Republicans, everyone needs to look at the one who's telling the actual truth and who's not lying about things and who is actually the only good candidate for president right now that's on the ballots. Oh, wait, you can write in Bernie Sanders, too. So remember that you have Bernie Sanders and Jill Stein. Ballots. Remember this. Okay, so, anyways, now that I've got that over with, <clears throat> let's go to the second part. Alright, so, the hurricane. Yeah, price gouging. Are you serious? During a hurricane? Really? Some hotels going up from $50 to $200 in one night, or some places going up from $70 to $150 in one night, or $30 to $120 for night, you know, stuff like that. Restaurants going up for food and like grocery stores and Walmarts and just price gouging, like going crazy. Um, prices of water going up, everything. Gasoline, some gas stations even, even going as far as getting 10 to $15 per gallon of gas for gas. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. That's like $300 of tank of gas. That's what? Anyway, so. And then we go to Haiti. And then we go overseas even more to um, break out the Middle East. Like all the conflict that's going on in the Middle East um, between Russia and, you know. Oh, I mean, how many more things do we have here? Hmm. Let's go on. Oh, yes, we've got police um still killing people and you know getting away with doing shit all over america um getting away with hurting people tasing people for no reason oh not to mention pulling guns on um little hispanic kids because they're inciting riots don't forget about that one right okay so um and the cop never got charged with anything but the little hispanic kid is is still charged with assault on the police officer even though she didn't even land the punch in the first place but she says she wished she did i wish she would have too anyway so um yeah how many more things do we got going on here oh um well you've got the back and pipeline uh blackout still going on i i don't know why i even forgot to mention that that's just absolute insanity um, so, yeah, Sioux Territory is now on a still media blackout lockdown, and, um, during the media blackout, they have now been gassed a few times, held in contempt, um, held basically captive in their own land, um, told that if they didn't leave their own area of their own land, given to them by the federal government, mind you, that, um, they would be held there basically until the media blackout was over and they have been there um and held there um they have been held there and gassed um shots fired into the crowds and dogs and all kinds of awesome things but you know back in pipeline is doing a good thing here didn't you know not to mention um trump backs back in pipeline completely um you know, it, it just keeps going on and on and on. And for those of you who haven't been watching my videos or haven't paid attention to anything I've ever said, um, let's get down and dirty with it here. Uh, everybody says to me, and I hear all the time, oh, there's pu there, a pipeline has never leaked. Um, I don't think you're actually using that thing called Google search. Um, there's tons and tons and tons of times where pipelines have not only leaked, but burst. Um, <clears throat> and cause massive destruction and death in, in not only animals, but humans. 
um, and caused it to the point of where they could not use the water at all. Um, I mean, we're going to end up, you, you know, America is going to end up just like China and Japan and everywhere else with the textile companies and everything taking over the water. Oh, let's not even mention that. That's still going on, too, in India and China and Japan. Um, the textile factories dumping massive amounts of um, toxic liquids and toxic fluids into the waters um, that basically kill children, um, make them sick. Um, animals, I mean, it, it's ridiculous, this is, this is absolutely crazy, third world countries and stuff going absolute nuts, um, oh, let's get back into the, the ghettos and stuff like that too, so, ghettos, they're still, you know, locking the ghettos down, uh, still holding the, still holding, basically, people in ghettos, um, encaging them in areas, making them feel like they have nowhere to go, nothing to do, like they're not going to make it anything, you know, they're not going to make anything of themselves except for crackheads, drug dealers, prostitutes, you know, things like that. Um, and, you know, schooling systems in, in the ghettos are just all kinds of messed up, and basically it, it's all a, a, a whole um, system to make them feel like they're not good enough, um, to keep them segregated in a central area, um, called ghettos, or hoods, um, oh, yes, and let's get, yeah, oh, yeah, so, I did this too, so, I only did one side, just the quarter of my head, so, I think it looks really good, I think it turned out really well, surprisingly, um, and it's all lined up and everything like that, so, I think it turned out pretty decent anyway. But yeah, so did that too. <laughs> but um yeah, the um let's get back into the ghettos and stuff like that. Uh businesses, you know, there there's no jobs there, no businesses, no nothing because well, you know, white people are too afraid to put their businesses in there because and then the black people they don't want even want to put their businesses in there because, you know, they they everybody else is just going to run it down and blah 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 see nobody wants to take the initiative and do their own thing to make their own way out of the hood they just want to talk the talk and not walk that walk because the white man has put him there and basically told him he's not going to be able to get out like ever um the education system tells them that the way of business life tells them that the um the white man period tells them that, you know, and, and people ask me all the time why I say the white man, in case if you guys haven't been paying attention, like I said before, um, I am Native American mostly, so, you know, I mean, I do have German in me, I'm also Irish, um, mostly I'm Native American, so my bloodline basically goes back to the, the my Native ancestors, um, to say the least. So, yeah, um, to go on, uh, the whole government system, the whole way that everybody's looking at everything, the whole way that everybody's being mad about every single thing that's going on in this world, my question to you is why? Why are you going to be so angry that you have to come up with solutions because you're that angry? If you're that angry, you need to calm your ass down and then come up with solutions, not only for yourself, but for other people to live in society as a whole. If we do not come up with conclusions out of peace and not out of anger, we're going to end up doing things that we do not want to do, such as starting an entire world war through an entire generation of people, which we have created and started to do through the 90s. We have started to make our own world war throughout ourselves, our own demons, our own education system has told us for, for hundreds of years that Native Americans are not as good as whites, that they just could not live as a civilized people. Okay, and the same thing with African Americans, 
um, Hispanics and everything else. And I hate to put it this way, but how stinking racist can you be? White people, come on. I know there's some of you out there, and I'm not going to say all of you are this way, but I will say this right now. I've had so many white friends that, um, oh, I'm not racist. That native over there is drinking fire water. That's not racist. I got you. I got you. That is racist. That's completely racist. That's utterly racist. You know, um, calling somebody a nigger because they're black. That's completely racist. I call white people niggers before I'll call a black man a nigger any day of the week because I see more ignorance in white men than I do in half the black men out there. And that's the truth. And everybody looks at black people as the people in the ghetto, the people in the hood. You want to know what's funny? There are more successful black men in the American culture than there are ghetto, hoods, blah, 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 blah. Yes, there are huge, huge percentage of African American people in cities, um, in, in inner cities especially, where they're literally being held in gated areas um, and told that they will never make anything of themselves um, and they'll never have jobs and they'll never have this and they'll, they'll never do anything for themselves. Um, and it's people like Trump that, that are going to keep them there too. Um, and it's people like Hillary that will also keep them there too. <clears throat> you know, and I was watching the debate the other day. They were going through and they were just going back and forth at each other and I couldn't help it. And I was, I, I just sat there and I was just like, yep, yep, she's right. Yep, he's right. Yep, she's right. Yep, he's right. Yep, she's right. Yep, he's right. And all they're doing is just bagging on each other. You know, um, and the whole thing is, is Trump, everything Trump kept saying over and over again has been everything that has been debunked, um, that Hillary has proven of linked emails and blah, 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 blah. Nobody linked or nobody leaked any emails to anyone. That's been proven. Go look it up, people. Nobody leaked any emails. The whole thing was, was yes, there were private emails that were on her desk that were deleted. And she even admitted that. And she said that she takes the mistake back and blah, 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 blah. There were never any emails leaked. Never. And whoever says that there were emails leaked is a crock of shit liar. Okay, there were never leaked emails. Alright, um. Now, there's a bunch of crap, you know. Trump just lied over and over and over and over and over again and I just saying the same things over and over that he has for the last year or two and you know when you sit there and you say that you did not say the things you said um, the last debate basically you know saying you grabbed a, a woman's pussy sexually assaulted a, a woman mind you um, he, he straight blatantly said that he had done this and then, to, you know, uh, last night um, goes on and says, oh, it was just locker room banter. And no, I've, I've never done that. I, I, I just said, you know, I was just talking about it was just locker room banter. Why would you even talk about it? Why would you even discuss it? Why would you even say it? it makes no sense to me whatsoever. People... You don't have to be genius to figure out this whole system plan of governmental corruption, okay? Just look at what it is and how it is. The people, the people, yes, ultimately have the decision and ultimately make the decision, but when your mind is brainwashed by CNN and Fox News telling you that there's two candidates out there, I say again, like I said when this, when I first began this video, right when this video first started, there are four candidates right now on ballot. There are Trump, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Jill Stein, and Bernie Sanders. These are the four candidates for president right now. 
just because they there are two candidates that were not in the campaigns and the debates <clears throat> that have not been in a total campaign or all of the debates run by by the way Fox and CNN both Democrat and Republican um, channels basically everything that you look at everything you see is run by the government it's run by what they want you to see what they want you to hear it's basically like a computer telling or you telling a computer what to do and the computer listens to you and uh, and does exactly what you want it to do whether that's really what you wanted it to do or not you ask it to do it, it's going to do exactly what you asked it to do not what you want it to do most of the time okay that's just the way it is that's what computers do so just like that our brain is computing fox news and cnn and everything else and and coming to the understanding that there are two candidates right now the truth the fact is snopes that shit there are four candidates right now there are three on on ballot okay there are three on ballot okay now you can write in Bernie Sanders. You can. In almost all 50 states, you can write Bernie Sanders in. Don't forget that, people. I'm not even kidding. You can still write in Bernie Sanders. There is a write-in. Keep that in mind. So, all I've got to say, everybody, keep up with society. Keep up with what you're doing. Be your activist. Be your own activist. Let's do what we need to do, and let's show the world that we're not going to stand down, we're not going to hold back, and we're going to say, my eyes are open to all your bullshit. All of it. And it's disgusting. And it's gross. Violence is so sickening. It's gross. That's true. It, 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 that's, that's, I can't find any other word for it. True anger. True resentment. Resentment that I'm part of a world that is doing things that they're doing now. People killing innocent people. People harming innocent people. It's all a crock. It's stupid. And it's really annoying Stop doing things out of anger. Stop finding solutions out of anger. And find solutions out of peace. Out of love. And out of your heart. And not your head. Loves. Take it easy, guys.